this session, I want to talk about Office 365 connectivity principles. How does that apply to Teams? And in particular, I want to talk about latency. The primary goal of Microsoft 365 connectivity principles is to minimize latency. We have some principles that all help meet this goal. We minimize latency by reducing the round trip time RRT from client machines to Microsoft Global Network. In some documentation, you will read that it's to, to reduce the round trip time, the RRT, from the customer's age to Microsoft Edge. We always assess, measure, and check up to the Microsoft Edge network, which is the Azure front door services. And the reason for that is two things. Number one, you don't really know which team servers or transport relay server or services that your traffic, your requests, your packets are going to hit. So we don't get to that end. So that's the first. So it, it all depends on your location, DNS, and other factors as well. So we don't get to that final destination. We can't measure, we can't check to, to this final destination. The second reason is the Microsoft network is a global network distributed around the world. And there are lots of edge services, front door services, and internal that global network, latency, packet loss and jitter is close to zero. In fact, in some documentation, it says zero latency, zero jitter, and you know, zero packet loss and all of that. So, so basically, again, the, the, the idea here is to just to check and assess and measure from your client to Microsoft Edge or from your Edge to Microsoft Edge. So the primary goal is to minimize latency. Now, looking at the principles, we have four principles. The first one is to identify and differentiate Microsoft 365 traffic. So there are different categories for the traffic. We have optimize, allow, and default. So you need to look at your IPs, ports, and URLs. And based on Microsoft recommendations, you need to differentiate. You need to identify first and then differentiate the traffic and which category you should route that traffic to. Implement local internet egress and local DNS. This is really important for all 365 connectivity, be it Teams, Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, OneDrive, Stream, Planner, and other services. Local internet and local DNS is really important and key in minimizing latency and reducing the round trip time from your network to Microsoft network. Third one is enable direct connectivity. And if you look at number two and three, you might think local means direct. It's not necessarily true because it could be local and then you have proxy servers in between you have one accelerator in between you have IPS IDS devices so the right thing is to have local internet and local DNS and also direct connectivity so the traffic is trusted by network and goes direct to Microsoft network and the last one is security so we're talking about connectivity and security you need to modernize your security implementation to meet the SaaS applications and basically you need to use the features, the security features and capabilities of the workloads. So things like uh, identity management, MFA, looking at data security and other security. It's no longer the DMZ security. It's no longer the proxy servers, no longer those security devices you have. What really helps with security and secure the connection is what those products and services offer. And again, we talk about identity management, multi-factor authentication. We talk about um, compliance and all those features we have in the products. If you look at number one, two, and three, this is the what and how of connectivity. If you look at number four, this is what, the what and how of security. So the principles help you with the what and how of connectivity and security. Thinking of latency, and this session is only latency for teams. So latency is talked about the reduced round trip RT from client machine to Microsoft Global Network. But if I look at the definition, it's the time it takes for a message to go from your computer to a server and back to your computer. So if you look at the figure here on the left hand side, from the user to server, that's 20 milliseconds, then back 25 milliseconds. That's the acknowledgement. So latency here is 20 plus 25. That's 45 milliseconds. That's how we measure latency. So the definition, it's in milliseconds. So latency that the time it takes from message to go from A to B and back. Uh, the symptoms, case of teams, talking over one another because we have latency 
So somebody talks and that message does not get to the second party. So the second part starts talking and then when he starts talking, that message gets to that person and then he talks back. So talking over one another because of latency, you'll start hearing people talking over each other. Now latency can also lead to dropping packets showing the same symptoms as packet loss because if it's late, then we'll, we'll experience some packet loss. How do limit delays? Allow direct connection between endpoints. That's your network and Microsoft Global Network. Optimize routing to Office 365 network, which is the first one. So if you, if you, if you look at the first one here, allow direct routing, a direct connection between endpoints, that's rule number two in the principles. If you look at the second one, that's rule number one, which is optimize routing to Office 365. And again, the different categories of routing. Improve Wi-Fi perception in case of Wi-Fi. So if you have Wi-Fi, um, you need to improve the reception and look at some other recommendations from your vendors to apply on the Wi-Fi networks. So looking at the metrics and look at the second one, latency, the RRT, which is the second metric here. If we are measuring from Teams client to Microsoft Edge, that's less than 100 milliseconds. And if we are doing this from the customer Edge to Microsoft Edge, it's less than 60 milliseconds. So 160. Now, if we are doing it one way, that's 50 and 30. So 50 and 30. And here in the case of from the client to Microsoft Edge, that's 160. Now, looking at this diagram here, so this this should be Teams, actually. It's a mistake. The Skype for Business Client, this should be Teams. And then you have your Edge. You have the Internet. You have the Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Network. And this is the backend servers. So this should be team servers or team relay, uh, transport relays actually, and this one should be teams client. And the same applies in the rules for Skype for Business Online and teams are about the same. And this one here from the client to Microsoft Edge and the top one here from Microsoft Edge, from the customer's Edge, sorry, to Microsoft Edge. From your Edge to Microsoft Edge is 60 or less than 60 milliseconds. And from your client, to the Microsoft Edge is less than 100 milliseconds. If you are within these threshold or these metrics, then you're okay for the latency for the Teams client and the call quality will be optimal. Thank you.